Can you guess which country has been hiding in plain sight? A poverty-stricken place with an estimated $24 trillion of untapped potential? Keep watching to find out about one of the world's poorest countries and get ready to unlock this great mystery. This is another interesting video from Simply Economics. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated with all our new videos. The Democratic Republic of Congo, or DRC, is one of the most misunderstood countries in the world. So many people think of it as an impoverished nation, but few really know that hidden beneath its poverty lies incredible potential. In this video, I will be taking you on a journey to uncover the incredible wealth and resources found in the DRC and how it could turn this country into one of Africa's wealthiest nations. A Nation's Overview The Democratic Republic of Congo is a country located in Central Africa. It was previously known as Zaire and is also called Congo-Kinshasa. It is the second largest country in Africa and the 11th largest in the world in terms of land area. The population is approximately 112 million, making it the most populous officially francophone country in the world. The largest city and economic center of the country is Kinshasa, which also serves as the national capital. The Democratic Republic of Congo, which is as big as Western Europe, has abundant natural resources like cobalt, copper, hydropower potential, vast biodiversity, and the world's second largest rainforest. Despite the wealth in this country, the majority of its population has not seen any benefits. This is due to a lengthy, strife-filled past of political turmoil, instability, and oppressive governing, resulting in an ongoing humanitarian crisis, including forced population displacement. These issues have persisted since the end of the Congo Wars in 2003 without significant change. In 2022, around 60 million people in DRC, which is one of the five poorest nations in the world, lived on less than $2.15 a day. About one out of six people living in extreme poverty in sub-Saharan Africa live in DRC. Two Congos. The Congo is actually divided into two distinct countries, the Democratic Republic of Congo, or DRC, and the Republic of Congo. These two countries are separated by the Great Congo River, which is a well-known natural wonder in Africa. It runs through the central part of the continent before emptying into the Atlantic Ocean. It's important to be aware of these differences. To avoid confusion, the Republic of Congo is often referred to as Congo Brazzaville, and the DRC is often referred to as Congo Kinshasa, based on their respective capital cities. History of the DRC People inhabited the country 10,000 years ago. Bantus from present-day Nigeria settled in the 7th and 8th centuries AD. It was discovered in 1482 by Portuguese navigator Diego Cao, and later explored by English journalist Henry Morton Stanley. Belgian King Leopold II colonized the area in 1885 as the Congo Free State. In 1907, the administration of the country was transferred to the Belgian government, and the new name for the country became the Belgian Congo. After experiencing several riots and periods of unrest, the Belgian Congo gained independence on June 30, 1960. Parliamentary elections were held that same year, resulting in Patrice Lumumba becoming the Prime Minister and Joseph Kasavubu becoming the President of the newly renamed Democratic Republic of Congo. In the first year after gaining independence, various events caused instability in the country, including a mutiny by the army, an attempted secession by the governor of Katanga province, intervention by a UN peacekeeping force to restore order, the mysterious death of Prime Minister Lumumba, and the government being taken over by Colonel Joseph Mobutu before being handed back to President Kasavubu. Political Context It took 62 years for the Democratic Republic of Congo to witness its first peaceful transfer of power in January 2019 when Felix Antoine Chisikedi Chilombo, the son of the country's veteran opposition leader Etienne Chisikedi won the presidential election held in December 2018 and replaced Joseph Kabila, who had been in power for 18 years. Although measures have been taken to prevent conflicts and stabilize the situation in the country, there are still areas of insecurity that remain, particularly in the eastern region. The country is currently in the process of registering voters for the upcoming general election, which is scheduled to take place in late 2023. DRC's economic situation. In 2022, economic growth improved to 8.6%, continuing the strong momentum from 2021 when the growth was around 6.2%. This was mainly due to the mining sector investment and exports, which remained as the key drivers of growth, thanks to the expansion of capacity and recovery in global demand. 
However, growth in non-mining sectors, especially services, was modest and slowed down to 3.0% in 2022 from 4.5% in 2021. The ongoing war in Ukraine caused a rise in global energy and food prices. This led to an increase in domestic inflation, with the average inflation rate going up from 9.1% in 2021 to 9.2% in 2022. However, even with improved revenue mobilization, higher capital and current spending caused the fiscal deficit to worsen to 2.7% in 2022 from 0.8% in 2021. Despite improvements in its economy, the DRC is still at risk of downturns due to fluctuations in commodity prices and the economic performance of key trading partners, which may be affected by geopolitical conflicts. Social Context The 2020 Human Capital Index ranked DRC at 164 out of 174 countries due to years of conflict and instability. The country's Human Capital Index currently stands at 0.37 indicating that a child born in the DRC today can only reach 37% of their potential, compared to if they had access to quality education and healthcare. Low child survival rates under the age of five, high levels of child stunting, and low quality of education are the primary factors leading to the low score. Why DRC is a poor country? The country is facing high poverty rates, limited access to basic services, and a significant infrastructure gap due to decades of war, poor governance, and underinvestment. Although it possesses the potential to flourish with its natural and human resources, it currently holds the title of having one of the lowest gross domestic product per capita in the world, standing at $600, while the United States is at $53,000. Poverty is prevalent across all 26 provinces of the country, despite the fact that it is the second largest country in Africa, covering an area of around 2.3 million square kilometers and possessing abundant natural resources. As a result, the DRC ranks as the second poorest country globally. What are the causes? DRC remains a poor country due to several contributing factors. Number one, instability. The country has been plagued by years of political unrest and war, which is one of the leading causes of poverty in the country. In turn, poverty and high rates of unemployment among young people contribute to ongoing conflicts. Despite being home to raw mineral ores valued at around 24 trillion US dollars, the DRC has experienced one of the deadliest conflicts since the Second World War due to fighting over control of these resources. As a result, an estimated 10,000 civilians lost their lives each month. These minerals, which are used in the production of various items such as smartphones, computers, light bulbs, and jewelry, are highly sought after. Before 2010, militia groups earned an estimated yearly revenue of around $185 million indirectly from foreign investors through corruption in the mining industry. Although the Dodd-Frank Act in the U.S. has reduced the market for illegal minerals and most mines are now under civilian control, militia groups still fund themselves through gold mining. Over $1 billion in tax revenue has been lost due to foreign companies investing in armed groups that control mineral resources. Moreover, the Congolese government has awarded mining assets to foreign countries at one-sixth their value, resulting in a cost of around $1.35 billion for the Congolese people. Number two, diseases. In the DRC, poverty is also caused by many major diseases that are widespread. These diseases include cholera, hepatitis A, malaria, polio, measles, and typhoid fever. Additionally, about 1.2% of people in the DRC are affected by HIV and AIDS. Malaria is the primary cause of illness and death in the DRC, and it has the second highest number of reported cases of malaria in the world. Malaria and tuberculosis are major causes of death in the Democratic Republic of Congo, especially for children under the age of five. In fact, malaria alone accounts for 19% of child deaths. The prevalence of infectious diseases has contributed to a low life expectancy of 48 years, and tragically, one out of every seven children does not survive past the age of five. Number three, hunger. The Food Security Portal reported that almost 70% of the population of the country lacked sufficient access to food, resulting in one in every four children suffering from malnutrition. Child malnutrition rates are particularly high in provinces affected by war that depend on the mining sector. Food shortages are mainly caused by population displacement, which affects around 2.3 million people in the DRC due to persistent violence. The conflicts in regions known for mining have also disrupted harvesting activities, leaving 3 million people at risk of starvation. And number four, water. Severe food shortages are closely linked to water shortages. 
clean water sources are scarce due to inadequate infrastructure in rural areas and damaged infrastructure from ongoing conflicts, resulting in the majority of people in Congo being unable to access them. Despite holding more than half of the water reserves in Africa, over three-quarters of the population in the DRC lacks access to safe drinking water. Is there hope for the Democratic Republic of Congo? According to a United Nations assessment, if the Democratic Republic of Congo uses its vast forests, water resources, and trillions of dollars in mineral reserves prudently, it could become the driving force of Africa's economic development. One important discovery is that the country has the greatest amount of biodiversity in Africa. Nevertheless, 190 species are in danger of becoming extinct. The DRC possesses vast tropical rainforests, spanning over 1.55 million square kilometers and containing over half of Africa's forest resources. These forests are critical to the planet's ecosystem and could generate up to $900 million in yearly earnings by 2030. The DRC has approximately 2 million people working in artisanal mining, which is the largest workforce of its kind globally. Unfortunately, this industry also uses around 15 tons of mercury each year, making it the second biggest cause of mercury emissions in Africa. The Democratic Republic of Congo is a country with immense potential to transform from one of the poorest in the world into a prosperous nation. By using its natural resources responsibly and investing in infrastructure projects, the DRC could become an economic powerhouse in Africa. The Congolese people must be given the necessary resources and opportunities to build a brighter future for themselves. In the meantime, it is up to the international community to ensure that the people of Congo are not forgotten and are provided with assistance in their pursuit of a better life. Otherwise, generations of poverty will continue without hope for an end in sight. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future content. We truly appreciate your support. See you in the next one.